Smoke bombs. I don't think I need smoke bombs for much. We oh. Yeti man! A Yowie! A pow Yowie! Ah! Okay, sidekick up. Okay, so they're weak to... They're weak to fire. Yeah, these are... This is a new monster type I've never seen before. I almost killed him with that. That is insane. It'd be really interesting to get a bunch of characters specifically with the... Uh, let's see, I could do Feather Storm. Or I could just do Beating. We'll do Beating. Not that one. And Fire Claws. Perfect. Okay. Did I get... Ah, no... No egg from a Yaoi. That's a shame. Do you wonder anyone ever tell you you have a good storytelling voice? Your grandfather down. You, get, you gotta get your storytelling voice up to par. I just... I would say just have, like, feel no shame when... Well, read a book out loud because it makes it a little easier because you don't actually have to come up with what you're, what story you're telling. And have no shame about coming up... Well, I almost fell through the world there. Uh, no shame about, like, what voices you're using. Also, if you're grandfather now, like, I'm sure your grandchildren are not going to care. <laughs> From this wound, rivers flowed, and mountains grew mighty and cold. Tis the only place for any creature that lives in peace with its nature. Or, yeah, we must... Must recruit. Okay. But yeah, I totally saw that falling step. I'm not sure what happened. I'm assuming it... It, uh... Had a bad collision there, and it was just like, ah, uh, we'll figure it out. These poor yaoi's. They're so cute, too. Okay, beating on the cat critter. Probably should have done Feather Storm now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. Dang. Yowie egg. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I ate inventory yowie egg? Catch the yowie. Okay, so he's powie. Where the heck? Oh, wait! He, he's just hanging out down there! I love that! How many of these guys can I bring with me? I have no idea. Okay, so he's got, obviously, water damage. When this monster gets attacked, 50% chance to chill. It increases mana region of the whole party. Tackle does a whole bunch of physical damage. He has a taunt. Heal all monsters in the party by 7.5% of this monster's max health at the start of every turn. He's got a heal. I don't think he's worth it. He is absolutely a tank monster. Effectively, what you want is Taunt, Icy, Skin, and the Heal buff. And he'd more or less take care of most of, uh, most of the requisite tanking along the way. Which is actually, like, I can totally see the, uh, I can totally see the appeal for that character. Oh, wow, there's an, there's something up there. My... I wish I could actually leave a little marker up there. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Anyway... Oh, if it isn't an old friend of mine. Hey, everyone. Long time no see. I brought you a new student. 
just hatched his first monsters. Thought you might teach him some lessons. Oh, you're the new Spectral Keeper, huh? Folk call me Old Buran. I've made my home at the end of the Keeper's Trail, so I can teach all you greenhorns about your new duties as fully-fledged monster keepers. But first, let's battle to see if you're worthy of the title. Always observe your enemies carefully. Some say the outcome of the battle is decided before it begins. As I raised these blobs myself, they are stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, their level is much higher. You can also see the weaknesses and resistances of your enemies. My blobs are weak to wind attacks. So I could retreat. I'm gonna retreat. Oh, no, 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 no. Use monsters. One problem is I haven't actually, uh... Traded any of the other characters because I probably should have thought of that leading and eh, whatever sidekick In the top right corner this is the combos counted. I already know all this shit, so it doesn't really matter These are tougher slimes that I've been fighting thus far I will I will I will give him credit. He is correct. These are tougher slimes but they will burn. Pain in the ass. Okay. Uh, let's see. Considering this is a bit of a protracted battle, it's a good time for buffs. Okay. Arcane Bolt? Or, no, we should probably start with Ignite. Mmm, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just smack that one. It'll be the next round where we really, really lay down the hurt. Ugh, healers. I, mean, I, will, I will admit, I have a bad type matchup for this. But that's fine, because... Featherstorm. Arcane Bolt. I should probably put more faith in the heart of that crit rate, but that's okay. Feather Storm. Oh, they're weak to wind. I will keep that in mind for the future. Not that it matters too much. As far as I can tell, no evolution in this game. Bit of a shame. I kind of understand why. Not bad. Not bad at all. You've walked the Keeper's Trail, and you defeated my monsters, however. To become a monster keeper proper, you'll need to complete one more test. Young Keeper. Next test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. If monsters have any free skill points. Use them now and use them wisely. Okay, should probably do that real quick. Uh, specifically, we want poison. Acid rain. I think we need to worry about too much of this. Uh, I'm gonna grab bubble burst just in case. I doubt we need a heal. Dog has a skill point. Should probably put points into claws level two. him kind of no matter what him either the yaoi on the other hand though party the yaoi might be interesting i doubt i would use him yet 
But I could absolutely see him very, very... Like, I could absolutely see him being a complete monster by the end. Uh, I think I'm just going to go at him with my regular team, because they're actually properly equipped. I don't know what the golem's weak against. I totally forget. I could have checked. Anyway. Good, you show bravery, but this time you're not facing a normal monster. This is my old cattle. I came to mind of its own. Murdered my wife. Kind of a problem. Please kill it. Okay. So, he's weak to wind and strong against fire. Son of a... Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. They have more health, do more damage, and can act multiple times a turn. It's your job as a monster keeper to take care of them. But it's only fitting you beat one to become a member of the or Order of the Monster Keepers. Show me what you're made of. So... Uh... I can't retreat. Yeah, I can switch teammates per battle, but I can't switch their equipment around. My main issue is that Bleb doesn't have any gear. And so Bleb's going to be inherently weaker, regardless. If I could go, f like, full inventory management, I would, but this is... Wish I could retreat for that. You know what? Screw it. We're just going all in. We'll be okay. So, Featherstorm. Uh, we should probably do power, now that I'm thinking about it. Shields up. Because this guy can destroy me. And that'd be an issue. Okay, should be good. He's perpetually on fire, so now we can start feather storming him nonstop. I think this will work out. The slime probably would have been the better idea. And if it wasn't for the. If it wasn't for the shield perk. It might still be a better idea for me to get, uh, Bleb up in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, claws are my best... my best bet. I mean, we're definitely taking him down, it's just not as... it's not as fast. as it could have been. It would also probably have helped if I had the level 2, like, Arcane Bolt and a couple other things. Oh, on the plus side... Five turns is not bad. We get Shell and Iron and some other stuff. Congratulations, young one! You've defeated your first champion, and therefore you are now a Keeper Aspirant! Nothing is more- nothing more is required of you. However, stay well and listen, won't you? Because there are things going on in Sanctuary that trouble me. You see, monsters can't become this powerful by normal means, and champions don't usually accept other monsters besides them. Uh, or a Keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I enhanced this goal myself to make it stronger. Even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I leave it deactivated most of the time. Recently, the Keeper's Rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the Sanctuary. I regular, regularly receive letters by Veromail from the Rangers who are stuck in the distant reaches of the Sanctuary, fighting against champions. If I weren't, if it weren't for my old bones, I'd go out there myself, but at least I can keep the Keeper's trail safe. I wrapped a champion in the 
or traptic champion of the caves of this area. You can take care of it if you feel up to the task. But before you go, there's one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. This lesson is just about feeding your monsters. Feeding your monsters will boost their stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital if you intend to face more champion monsters. But a monster always only profits from the last three food items you give it. Now, good luck on your road as a monster keeper. Well then, you're a keeper aspirant now. Still, the only way to improve your rank is to beat more champions. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to reach the title of keeper master. Well, always only one in a couple of lifetimes. We can take care of that. Uh, we can take care of that. Oh yeah, take care of that other champion right now. Or we can go back to the Keeper's Stronghold first. The choice is yours. Fight your... thing again? Hey there. Rising through the ranks of the Keeper's Stronghold already. Oh, monsters. They look hungry. Never forget to feed them. Nope. I guess we gotta do the, uh... We gotta do the arena challenge. Yeah, probably should have fed my monsters. Honestly, probably should have just brought the slime along, because that would have done the trick. But... We get the chance to fight the golem at a later date anyway. Or what else do we have around here? Whoa, boy! Okay, so, answer is, don't do that. That is a bad idea. There is death there. Hello, cat. Okay, side sidekick again. Yeah, I'll have to see if there's any better combos I can do along the way here. This is probably fine. At least for now. It's very durable. Uh, let's see. Probably just do the Feather Storm. Maybe? Yeah. I could go for the Power Bonus, but I don't know if it would matter that much. Uh, let's see. Do we ignite him? Go for him. And then can I just claws this guy down? Yeah, that works. Can you do a preemptive strike with a dog? I don't know. Interesting question? I doubt. Oh, it does take healthiness into account. I didn't remember if it still did or not. Let's see. Can't go up there. This is different. Okay. So we get a Pandora's box. That sounds dangerous. There we go. These are cute. Potions! Who the heck uses those? Okay. Uh, pretty sure I can't get up there. Actually, I think we get a... We definitely get some kind of jump perk at some point. I want to say it's just a double jump. Oh, that didn't work. The other way was spikes. I'm just gonna kind of ignore these guys. We're we're not necessarily overgrinded, but we're relatively overgrinded. And I can skip a lot of these guys, and we'll just we'll pick back up fighting things in the next area. Or I go grab a shell and I play things with shell. I might want to do that. I'm going to be playing more of this game over the... Actually, we might as well fight these guys. These guys are chump change. 
Uh, let's see. Because I'm going to be playing more of this over the next couple of days. Nope, we want to do sidekick. Especially now that my hand's a little on the, uh, <laughs> birdie side as a result of, uh... Let's set the slime on fire. I'm going to I'm gonna try and have Dog ignite this guy. See if he burns to death in the first round, because that's probably worth it. Yep. He does, in fact. Cool. Let's see. I'm gonna establish the slime. We should have actually hit the other guy. Oh well. Arcane bolt. Well, we could just kill this guy. Yeah, that works. Quite well. I'm gonna have so many eggs. I don't remember five starring battles nearly as often back in the demos. I guess this burn combo has some legs. It's still tempting to try and finagle the slime in, but losing that, that free shield is kind of rough. Okay, so we're just going to get back to town and then we will switch. Because I do actually want to play games with Shell. Yeah, let's fight these guys. Okay, sidekick. Probably want to ignite the Vero. Right. And we want to ignite the Cat Zerker. Yeah, once we get up to level 10, we can actually have Dog set everybody, potentially everybody, on fire. It will be up to RNG, which kind of sucks a little bit. Self, don't do that. Uh, let's see. Let's beat the uh, beat him within an inch of his life because he hurts. Set him on fire. It doesn't kill the bird, but it kills the cat zerker, which is the one we need to worry about. I'm wondering how many other monsters that they've added to the game lately as well. Now that works out. Because we've already seen the pa uh, the Yaoi, which is new. That was that was most definitely not in the demo. And obviously also the, uh, the s different starting characters are new. Which is kind of exciting in its own right. This is the Keeper's Stronghold, home to all the monsters. Welcome, Keeper Aspirant. we the Keeper's Stronghold. Monsters live alongside humans. We raise them to be our friends. A monster raised by a human would never attack a human. That's... That seems like that's going to backfire. Usually champion monsters are very rare, but recently they've been seen in all region of the, regions of the Sanctuary. Hello, fellow Keeper. Are you aware of how the overcall, overkill part of the rating system is calculated? Explain it to me. Overkill is mainly based on the excess damage you deal to your enemies. Your overkill bonus gets increased for each debuff you inflicted on your enemies, and for each buff your monsters had at the end of combat. Also, whenever an enemy takes poison or burn damage throughout the battle, your overkill bonus at the end of combat also gets increased. That's the secret of overkill. Rewards raw force and methodical strategies alike. That's kind of nice. Time to rob them of all of their worldly belongings. Utilizing the combo system properly, blah, 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 blah. The most important thing is finding the right diet for your monsters. Nope. nope. We. Yeah. We. Might as well loot everything before I start upgrading stuff. Because there's a fair amount of equipment just lying around in here. Always think about having enough supplies. You never know. Uh, that. Nah. Yeah, it's just tips. I care not for tips. I'm here for loot. So this guy sells the wand, which is uh, magic and defense. Claws, which is physical and regen. Shuriken, which is both in crit chance. I like the idea of a crit chance. I 
and a lot of plus ones. Buy the shell plus one at the very least. Okay, so equipment on dog. Give him the shuriken. Noodle. Let's give him the staff? No. Staff is crit chance. Orb is fine. And the morning star is probably okay as well. We have a shell plus one. We also have a hide plus one. Not that I have, uh, I've had to utilize his defense yet. Okay. Ooh, Pandora's box. Receive a random buff at the start of combat. Well, let's give him the wizard hat, though. We also have the ribbon, the tome. I think this will be okay. What about you? Vital ring, gauntlet, and helmet. Pandora's box might be really helpful. Let's go for that. We also have some skill points to spend. So, I'd like to upgrade Feather Storm. But I think I want to get Air Sickle first, mainly so I can get down to the attack proc. I am pressing all the wrong buttons here. Okay, we should probably upgrade his Arcane Bolt so he can start doing some damage. Okay, so... Oh. Skill Resetters and Smoke Bombs. Useful. And Apple. Ooh, quick damage, 5%. Walnuts. Potatoes. Berries. Not necessarily sure which of these are going to be most useful. Uh, let's see. Anyway, so walnuts are defense. Probably want to give them all to Inch Noodle. What else do we have? Do we have any other food related things? These are upgrade materials. Oh, yeah, I only have a little bit of food here. Well, oh, berry. Yep, it's actually a lion, but I called it dog. Because I'm a mean person. Potato burb. Okay. So that should help with survivability considerably. Okay. Oh, one of my rifles. Hey, rookie. Got your first monster? Be careful. A lot of strong monsters were spotted recently. Because of all this hubbub is unclear, but I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. Sure you are. Just keep standing there. It'll be fine. Want to help strengthen the Stronghold's monster army? You can donate eggs you don't need to the Stronghold. We'll raise and train them. Get a compensatory reward for each egg you donate. Additionally, you'll increase the monster army's strength. Each egg you bring in. If the monster army reaches a certain strength, you will receive special rewards. Donate egg. 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 Okay, so we get Phoenix Tears. Egg. Yeah, it's it's a monster collection game. I'm just going to chuck eggs at this man. He will hatch them into his small army. And then eventually we're going to have to fight them, and it's going to be like, why did you do this? Why did you strengthen him? And I'm going to be like, ah. Three times level 10 badge. If I remember I give you free levels, not actually as useful anymore, considering everything... You seem to be able to carry, like, everything in your inventory, though. Hey, thank you, Dab Stregus, for the thousand bits. How much has been added? Been waiting so long for new stuff. Well, it's out in early access on the 27th, so in two days. So actually, I can't really tell you what's new. It does feel like it's been in improved. They added a couple of new areas, a couple of puzzles. Feels better. There's a lot of... There's still a lot of work in progress stuff, so I'm pretty sure it cuts, cuts you off pretty early, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, it's a pretty good game... Regardless, I don't know. Anyway, so we got the blacksmith. Okay, so let's upgrade some equipment. So, probably want to upgrade the Morning Star. We don't have enough iron. Let's see, Gauntlet seems like a decent idea. 
the helmet. The orb. Definitely the wizard hat. Do I have enough? I might. Okay, shuriken. Let's probably get the bandana and the feather up first. Okay. Love the gear upgrade system. It is it is very fun. Okay, so that's about as good as I'm probably going to get. Could do kunai. Are there any other particularly useful perks we could go for? Not overwhelmingly. Feathers are nice. I might want to upgrade another feather. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. But now my gear is all up and tended. Just gonna look around for a little bit longer. Unfortunately, I think this is just. Ugh. Yeah, this place keeps going. I'm gonna go stand next to the the warp. We'll explore the rest of this next time, for sure. Which will probably be tomorrow, because tomorrow's like the easiest day I have, or the most free day I have. 